All right, so for this problem, what they're asking us to do is find the zeros. All right, so what we need to do, what that means by finding the zeros, is we need to find when is our value going to equal, when are, what values of x is our y coordinate going to be 0? So when is x going to make this equation equal to 0? So what we're essentially doing is solving. So finding the zeros is pretty much saying when your y value is equal to 0, what are the values of x? So we've talked about this many different ways. If you guys if you remember, if it was linear, we could just solve for x. Or if it was quadratic, but there was only one term, we could still just solve for x by using inverse operations. However, in this problem, what you guys see is we have two variables, both x's, but they're not like terms. So we can't combine them. But we need a, a way to solve this. So what we can do is see if, since we have it set equal to 0, we can apply the zero product property. Which remembers, if we can write this polynomial as a times b equals c, then we know that we can say a equals 0 or b equals 0. So what I need to do is I need to say, all right, can I rewrite this as a product? And does anybody remember the process of taking a polynomial and writing it as a product? That is called tractoring and factoring, right? Exactly. So now I need to see, can I factor this? All right. Now you should hopefully, by this day of the point, you remember to do it in your head. Um, but if we need a little more practice, we can go back to our form, ax squared plus bx plus c. And remember, this is always a times c over b. So a times c in this case is 1 times 27. And then b is negative 12. So what two numbers multiply to give you 27, but then add to give you negative 12? So let's look at the factors of 27. They are negative 9 and negative 3. So therefore, 0 equals x minus 9 times x minus 3. Now we have a product equal to 0. So Anna knows when we have a product equal to 0, we can say one of those, product, one of those equals 0 or the other. So now we can say x minus 9 equals 0 or x minus 3 equals 0. And then, ladies and gentlemen, we can now solve. And those are the zeros of your equation. OK? There we go. Done. <laughs>